Hey guys, welcome to another video on the JB and Millie channel. So guys, part two. We told you yesterday we are going to cover this full winter update for Animal Crossing New Horizons. And this is the first morning, like the morning after the night before. We have just had the update 1am this morning. So now we are going to show you the morning after, see if we've got anything new in the post, if anything else is accessible. And not only that, but please subscribe because it's not ending with the update. We are gonna bring you the Winter Island tours, we're gonna bring you um, Franklin Island tours, Franklin's um, cooker, uh, cooking section of Millie Makes, we're gonna make him a kitchen on Halves Island. We are just going to do everything we can. We are so excited for this update. Now, speaking of cooking, Isabel said there wasn't any news to speak of today, which is kind of disappointing, but look at this. Did anyone else catch yesterday's cooking show? Now, I feel like she said something like that before, but I just feel like today actually means something. Like, ooh, we could have seen Franklin cooking on the TV show. Like tuna casserole. Could that potentially... <gasps> I'm thinking about trying out the recipe myself tonight. Wish me luck. Now, I'm thinking this is a hint to what's to come. If you can fish, I answer you pull up tuna and you can then oh create my God, yes. this. I feel like tuna's coming back into season. I feel like I saw something on a Beardo video. Like, I'm I not think sure. this is a really big hint, but disguised as Isabel's usual rambling. I, this may just be me being crazy, trying to find a reason for Isabel to speak in the morning, but I'm thinking that this is actually quite significant. <laughs> Maybe Nintendo need to do the same, JP. Finding a reason, reason for Isabel to speak. Okay, so we have posts. So we did miss this the other day. Ooh. But there's some stuff from Nintendo. Nintendo. So thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please keep an eye out for future updates as well. I'm from Nook Inc. So we're pleased to announce a new feature available to any homeowner whose house has reached maximum uh, size. Expanded storage. If you're feeling tight on space, please visit resident services to learn more. So we've already done that section of things, but we haven't really showcased this. So let's take a it's look. It's the Yule Log. Now... I've seen this on Twitter. A lot of people don't know this, but apparently it is customiz customizable, so we are going to showcase that today. Ooh, I wonder what you can customize it to. I've never seen a Yule Log look any different from that. No. So, Millie, are you predicting anything different, like anything that could come from today? Now, we don't have any word on Franklin apart from the fact that you can visit them on Photopia. And with Jack, obviously, he was like he sent you a message the morning of the yeah. update. So I don't know what's going on there. So do you? Are there any predictions that you can? My throw only out prediction there? is resident services notice board. Maybe if we go there, it's going to be like, oh, there's an event coming up next week, like it's in homesteads for birthdays and things. Do you reckon? Maybe that that would be my prediction because. They normally do it a week in advance and say it's exactly one week until Turkey Day. So yeah, that would be what I would probably say, maybe the only thing. Because we covered in our last video that you can invite Jingle and Franklin to Photopia. You can get the new hairstyles, you can get the new reactions. You know, this was the only update that's really been available from the get-go. So I feel like there might not be much more to see today, but I do think that that could be one thing that there is. Hmm, I, I definitely would agree with that. So this is the Yule of the chocolate variant, the chestnut, chestnut. variant, the whipped cream topping, Ooh. which I think is amazing. Oh gosh, that looks really nice for Christmas because it's on the kind of red plate. Yeah. Strawberry. Oh my gosh, meringue would love that if you've got meringue on your island. See, I think that would be cute for a Valentine's Day island. Oh, it would. Ooh, and kind of that reminds me of Halloween, probably because I had all the yeah. all the green pumpkins. But I think for this one, I'm going with this. With yeah, the, I like that a lot. Still awesome. got the holly on the top, all that sort of thing. Although, admittedly, I've only ever seen a chocolate Yule log. Genuine what IRL or in? Have you ever seen a Yule log? No, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, JB's got quite like strict sugar-free parents, so it's very rarely seen cakes and stuff. But I can't believe you've never had a Yule log. No, that's why when I get upset and frustrated, I always say, oh, sugar, because that, that's like the highest <laughs> heresy <laughs> in the land. 
Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna check um, the resident services billboard just to see. Oh, we've got hey red, crazy red. Love there. red. Hopefully they've got some nice artwork that we can showcase. But regardless of that, maybe we'll do that on another video. We are focusing on the winter slash fall Franklin jingle update. This is so exciting. Oh I love Frank. You just said Franklin jingle. It sounded like you're gonna do a little like song for Franklin. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, I missed those two, but. Why is November the 12th important? Because it's uh. when we celebrate, oh, oops. Well, regardless of that. I tried, guys. <laughs> I got I got excited then. Oh, finally, an islander using a chair instead of the ground. How ironic now we finally got to be able to sit like them. They're sitting like us. Oh, look, Cody did those um reactions of us. Oh, but he can't on sprinkles clapping. Oh. So there's nothing in resident services, but another thing I did want to try if there's any like seasonal items in Nooks. Mm -hmm, that's something of interest. Also, if there's any new seasonal items on the ATM. Oh, that would be cool. Because I know they've got like the great baskets, they've had the moon rugs. So nothing there at the moment, but we're not discounting the fact that there could be something in the cabinet Indeed. on the right hand side. Like they had candy there, they had pumpkin seeds there. There could be something. Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything yet, but don't write it off because I think, you know, when Franklin arrives, that may have some more use. And we still don't know when Franklin's going to arrive first because for all we know that they're going to be there on Turkey mm -hmm. Day. They could have an appearance at some point. Like, we could wake up tomorrow, we have that call on the Nook phone, almost like we did with Harv, um, saying, oh, hey, like, I need your help with something. Like, visit me, you know, in this address. Like, Tom Nook can take you there. Or that would be like amazing. That. You got Sylvia. Oh, my gosh. But the reactions alone, I think people are going to have a great time Does with Does resident this. services look different, or is it just me? I think it might just be you, but I'm not sure. If anyone knows in the comment section, or I guess I'll be premiering this, please let us know. And I was sure this was new, but maybe not. So uh, I think if you go across as a section for new things, right? No. Oh, like special? Yeah. Or is it on the bell section of this? I'm thinking Nook Shopping could have some because that's the seasonal. That's the seasonal one. Okay. So. Oh, nothing in seasonal. Wow. Okay. So I feel like, in a way, just the fact that there isn't anything right now is just exciting in itself because it's kind of like they're going to drop something big. Yeah. Like, there is going to be, you know, Turkey Day, and when you wake up on that day on your island, stuff's going to go down. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna start, like, screaming and shouting when Isabel was like, maybe I'll try that recipe tonight. Because usually when there's a new update and she mentions a recipe, she's like, oh, I know, I'll just, like, transfer you the recipe on the Nook phone. And I thought it was gonna be a case then, like, tuna casserole, here's the recipe, check your phone. And I was just gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is it. Because not, like, there's gonna be no spoilers for this whatsoever, really, because unfortunately for some people, these events are actually time locked, so if you tra if you tra time traveled to Turkey Day and Toy Day, you actually can't participate in the event. Which I think makes it even more exciting. Do you know what I mean? Like we aren't gonna accidentally see this stuff on Twitter. It's gonna be a case of, you know, everyone's gonna get this at the same time. There's gonna be no spoilers, and I feel it's almost for that reason. Nintendo's most exciting update for the game yet. It's almost like they've got some big secret that they're hiding and that's why they've time locked it. It is almost, I don't know, I think this wouldn't be an issue depending on how Nintendo roll out these updates and how they treat the updates. Like last, like Halloween wasn't time locked so if you could time travel, you could time travel to last Halloween, that's no problem. But I kind of feel that, like we've mentioned a lot of times, the biggest problem with the Halloween update was simply that the best items weren't available until that night. And yeah. from then it was only Jack on the island from 6 to 12. 
So in the grand scheme of things, not a lot of time to get those really cool items like the pumpkin carriage and the jack outfit. And so if all the best Christmas items are reserved for Toy Day, I think that's going to be a huge mistake. Because mm. for all we don't time travel and we're not going to time travel, it's one of those things where if these really good items are locked behind that specific day, there's going to be some people busy that day or with other commitments that day that just won't have those items at all. And so there is definitely a negative side of things, but... I mean, one thing that I'm thinking is um, our good friend Annalisa, you can see in the comment and the um, mailbox there, she has said to us that, you know, she's seen on Twitter that there are still lots of Christmas items that are going to be released in the interim. So it's not all that it's going to happen on that one day. Additionally to that, for all this Turkey Day, I think Turkey Day is just going to introduce something. I don't think it's going to be, you know, miss this day and you've missed it all. I do think it's going to be a, okay, here's cooking, do it. Mm, maybe, maybe. that. I mean, obviously cooking, I think, is going to be like the diving update. You're probably going to be able to go to Nook's Cranny and get a spatula or something all year round. That's going to be a main mechanic of the game that I feel would be not time-locked. But if you think about the items like Christmas trees or even like... I don't know, some of the things that you've seen already from island tours like those light up reindeers. If they're Toy Day exclusives, I'm going to be very, very disappointed. But here we have the Franklin poster. You could get this anyway. But it's just nice that if you're a Franklin's amiibo, not only can you invite them to Photopia, but you can also get this cool poster... And look at that. I love them so much. They look adorable. You don't want to miss that video. No, I kind of just want to... I was hoping that there'd be a new option once you activated this. But no. Oh, well, remember, you can always still have, you know, that really nice cooking appearance. And, like, that pan that you've got on the cooker there, JB, is customisable. You can make it look like you're cooking, even if you can't just yet. But remember, there is that new reaction if you've got it, JB, you know, the sniff sniff one? That makes it, that's just kind of alluding to some cooking, I think. Almost as if you'd be able to cook outside, kind of like a barbecue and your islanders could run over and start, start sniffing the food. Oh, I mean, we can have a barbecue item, can't we? There is a barbecue item, yeah. Oh my god. So yeah, I think this is all today. Obviously, we missed out the Yule Log, which was available yesterday, or pretty much the second that everything was updated. But I guess it's just nice to kind of get a feel for things, you know, if you let us know if we missed anything. And to you guys, if you guys are waking up today feeling a bit disappointed, please check out the last video, because there's an awful lot you can do pretty much instantly. And honestly, this is shaping up to be such a great update. It is indeed. And not only that, like JB said, if you're feeling a little down with this update, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Later today, I personally am hoping to upload one of our Millie Makes videos where I have kind of challenged myself to recreate Franklin's kitchen on Half's Island. So that's kind of a little challenge that I've set for myself and who knows, you guys could try it out too. So we do have so, so much more coming. As we said at the start, we are wanting to do some Christmas Island tours, you know, some Franklin Incorporated Island tours. There's the Millie Makes. There's just so, so much coming for you guys. So please, please, please turn on those notifications and like, comment and subscribe. JB and Millie.